and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be our engagement story. So if you're interested in hearing about how Eric proposed, then just keep watching and let's get into it. <laughs> So before we jump into the story, I want to talk about if I thought it was coming or if I thought it was going to be um, another time. So for Christmas time, we went down to Florida and I think I vlogged it, but my best friend was actually on our flight. So I thought Eric was going to propose and my best friend was going to be down there to celebrate and my family was down there and it was like the best Christmas ever. So I stupidly told <laughs> all my coworkers and said, hey, I'm getting engaged over Christmas. So when I come back, I'll have a ring on my finger. So when I came back and I didn't have a ring on my finger, that was a little bit embarrassing. And Eric goes asked why I told them. It was pure coincidence that <laughs> her best friend was on our flight. So I don't know why she just assumed that meant engagement. Yeah. And then we also went down to Jacksonville to visit one of Eric's sister. So I thought that it was going to happen then. Um, but it didn't happen then either. But she wasn't far off. It was only a week later. Mm -hmm. Which is when we went to Boston. Mm -hmm. So for Tori's birthday, we decided to plan a trip to Boston. I'm not good at planning stuff. so. I let her in on it. I didn't want to like have the whole thing be a secret. I figured let her in on the trip planning and then she wouldn't have a hunch that I was like gonna propose and stuff. So we planned a trip. We wanted to go to the aquarium. I know Tori likes aquariums. So we have the whole trip planned out and we get up really early. I convinced her to get up about like six o'clock or something and Tori usually sleeps in until probably <laughs> nine on the weekends. So I took it like a champ though. I was really proud of her. It was nice. At this point in time, I have the ring in, like, in the box and everything, just kind of in my backpack. And I had to think of a way to somehow hide it on me without Tori seeing me like take it out of my bag and stuff. So it ended up being last second as she like called the Uber and like <laughs> was walking out the door. I like pretend I forgot something. So I ran back to my bag and then like take the whole box and just shove it like up my arm sleeve because she was watching me at this point and I didn't want her to like see me turn around with this whole ring box in my hand. But in my head I'm like, why is Eric taking so long? Like our Uber's here, we gotta get there, like let's go! Yes. So <laughs> she wasn't upset with me, but she was getting a little short, like all right we gotta go. So I have the ring like in my, just the front of my arm sleeve, and actually that's where I end up carrying it most of the day. Um, so also, just a side note, this is February, so it was pretty cold, so he had his winter jacket on, um, and that's where he had it shoved up. So my birthday is the 10th, which was a Monday, and we went to the aquarium on the 8th, which was a Saturday. Yeah, so I did plan that out, that I was going to wear my big poofy snowboarding jacket, because it was a lot easier to hide it inside that. Um, so we take the Uber, we get to the aquarium. I still have it in my arm and so I'm like paying for the tickets and everything. It's kind of uncomfortable. Um, we get inside and I figured now's a good time where I can kind of switch it to a pocket or something that's a bit more comfortable. Mm -hmm. I knew I had like an inside one like on the chest. So we get in there, I go to the bathroom, but then it turns out the zipper in there was stuck <laughs> so I couldn't even hide it in there. And then, so he's taking a while in the bathroom while I'm just hanging out with the penguins. So she has no idea what's going on. I didn't even go to the bathroom. She's like <laughs> in there. Oh, before we left the hotel room, actually, take a step back. She ended up like reaching into my pocket to like grab her keys. So I knew I couldn't put the ring in one of like my pockets because she could just stick her hand in there at one point to like, I don't know why she would do that. But I feel like girlfriends will understand this too. Like I keep my phone in there or I'll keep my keys in there. I don't know, so I just like stick my hands in there to warm up or to grab my phone or whatever it was. So, so I was afraid of her just reaching yeah. in and finding the whole ring. So I ended up just leaving it in my arm <laughs> again. So we proceed to walk around the entire aquarium and I'm like awkwardly shifting it because I can't have it go above the elbow or then it'll kind of fall out, but I can't have it too close to the front because then there'd be like a big bulge on my wrist. So it's kind of like somewhere like in here on my arm in my jacket <laughs> and it took probably an hour over an hour to walk around the aquarium but the whole time eric like loves animals and science and like everything mm -hmm. like that so i thought he would really enjoy the aquarium so i'm in there and i'm so excited about the penguins and the fish and i don't know learning everything and eric was so awkward and just like 
wouldn't talk or enjoy it the whole time but like looking back i totally understand but in the moment i was like oh my gosh like, what did i do that eric isn't enjoying the aquarium so even where i kind of had it hidden it was kind of obvious like if you were to look for it and know it was there you would see the like square bulge in the, like, the arm so the whole time we're walking i'm trying to like i think it's in my right arm so i'm trying to keep her on my left side so she doesn't <laughs> accidentally bump into it because she also has a habit of like reaching around and grabbing my arm yeah that's true and i knew if she did that to that side then she would feel it so the, yeah the whole entire time we're walking through there i'm either like cutting her off or like letting her go and being really <laughs> slow Weird. to follow up in it but I because really the original plan which now i know but again i didn't know in that moment was he was going to propose in the aquarium yeah so we we looked online and we saw this like really cool picture of like a dome like you could walk under and the fish would swim overhead and i thought like this existed there but it turns out it's a future exhibit plan <laughs> so i'm looking for this the whole time we're walking around and the place doesn't exist so as we're drawing to the end of the aquarium and i realize that spot doesn't exist i'm trying to think of a backup spot and most of it was lit pretty poor like poorly for a camera mm -hmm. um so at one point I even like took out my camera and like tried to do a selfie just to get an idea of the lighting and see if it would show up. But like, it's the Boston Aquarium so it's busy <laughs> so he's like yeah tour stand in front of the fish I'll take your picture and there's like hundreds of people swarming around trying to get their picture so I was like no let's not take pictures. <laughs> yeah there was probably one exhibit that was lit well enough to be able to do it in front of and she didn't want to go up to the front of it and I was fine with that because I'm sweating at this point, really <laughs> nervous, and I don't like being in large crowds anyway, and I don't like making a scene. So mm -hmm. it ended up working out. When we left the aquarium, and behind it there was a dock I mm -hmm. saw. It overlooked the water and everything. It was really nice. So we, we go back there, and it was a really good spot. I, I was ready to propose. It was it perfect. Was really pretty. But there was no one around to take our picture, <laughs> and I knew that Tori would, like, appreciate if we could get a picture taken mm -hmm. so that plan went to crap and we started just kind of walking around okay but remember he's still being awkward and like not enjoying the moment so i'm like eric are you tired are you hungry like what's happening yeah she thinks i'm just kind of hangry and <laughs> grumpy so we end up walking to quincy market quincy market and right outside of it it was like a nice big um courtyard I'd almost call it yeah um, if you've been there you know like the big beautiful Quincy Market sign yeah so I was thinking about okay this would be a nice spot to do it but by this point I was just so nervous just from everything else falling apart that <laughs> I couldn't pluck up the courage to do it there so we end up walking down and back the entire Quincy Market and and I'm like trying to look at the cute clothes and the cute little <laughs> shops and like they have a ton of I don't know Boston clam chowder like I don't know random Boston foods so I just thought we would like enjoy that or g get something to remember our trip together but he was just plowing oh, through. Mind you the whole time it's still like in my arm not really <laughs> comfortable and I'm trying to keep it a secret and hide it from her. Yeah. So I was yeah it was just very. <laughs> <laughs> so finally I was like all right I'm buying this kid a coffee because I don't know what the heck is happening that He's struggling so much. So I bought, I don't know, like she a- She bought me a large, a large, <laughs> a large, a large coffee. coffee with chow, <laughs> no, no chow. But she bought me a large coffee at one of the shops there. But he's too nervous to drink it. And yeah, so at that point, I think I even pull out my phone to pretend to look at food. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, we're both hungry. Let me look at food. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to think of a backup plan. Like, how do I find anything near us to- like, so we're nice like outside when he's doing this so it's cold it's february in boston and we're just walking around and i think i just wanted to be in quincy market so in my head i'm like why are we like enjoying food in there and he's like let's just walk around like i just i just want to walk around so on my phone i ended up seeing there was a park near the water so we i was kind of directing us towards that direction i think it was, was it christopher columbus park something like that yeah I think that's the name of it uh i'll have to double check and tori will post it down below <laughs> uh, so we start walking towards that and when we get closer i realize it's the perfect 
spot, like backup spot, but mm -hmm. the perfect spot overall because they it was around Valentine's Day. It was so So cute. there were these giant hearts posted on, um, what do you call that? Like? I'll put some pictures throughout the video, like once we actually get to the proposal part. But you know the sweethearts for Valentine's? So like they're the big hearts and they say, love you or text me or... I don't know, kisses, XOXO. So those were all hanging um, along each post. So we were walking through. So we're walking through that and I see some like, like a group of young girls about our age and I thought, okay, these people probably know how to use a phone. They could take our picture. This would be a good spot. But I wanted to walk down all of them and see what each of them said before I picked one. Mm -hmm. And I remember you saying that. I remember you saying like, let's see what all of them say. Yeah. So, you know, play it off. <laughs> uh, but we end up getting to the last one and there's a couple there, about our parents' age. Mm -hmm. It's a, you know, middle-aged couple. Mm -hmm. And they seem to be deciding if they should take a picture in front of it or they were like struggling or something. They were like trying to take a selfie, but they couldn't get the camera flipped to, to take the selfie. So I knew this would be the perfect opportunity. So I asked them if they want us to take their picture. And by us, I mean Tori, because she takes all the photos for us. <laughs> Um, and they say yes, and then when she hands their phone back before like they can walk away, I say, do you mind taking ours? Okay, and in that moment, I just thought we were going to take their picture. So we took it, and then I started walking away when he said, yeah, so no, we're going to take a picture. By this thing. This Which is rare. So then I was like, what's happening? Because Eric never wants to take pictures. So we end up, we we're standing in front of the big heart, and like, they're waiting to take our picture. And at this point, I like, reach into my arm. I'm trying to think of the best way to get this big <laughs> jewelry box out of my arm. I don't want to like stick my arm up over my head and shake it around. I thought that'd be weird. <laughs> so instead I go through like the front and try to like wrestle it out of there. But he's struggling and like wrestling. Yeah. It was, it was like, So well they're hidden. like getting right. They're like, are you going to smile? Are you ready for the picture? I'm like, Eric, Eric, what are so you doing? We got to take a picture. It took probably 10 seconds to get it out. No one knows what I was doing until finally I like get the whole ring box out and then I like take a knee. And I think that I forgot to say yes initially and No, I think you did. I can't remember. I just we have like a they took a video which was really sweet and in it I'm like my mouth is wide open in every single picture and then I like say, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that you're taking the picture oh, that's what it was. something. Her opening was like, thing yes! was, she said yes, and then she immediately turned to them and said, like, she apologized for <laughs> taking away from their day or something, but they were, like, crying and really happy. It was happy. really sweet, and I wish that we knew who they were, um, because it was really a good memory to have that video and those pictures, mm -hmm. and they gave us hugs after, and they wished us, like, a happy marriage, and the lady was crying, and... It was so sweet. Yeah. And then as soon as that was over, Eric was back to him, his normal yeah. self. Oh, after that, I felt great. It was like a weight <laughs> off my chest. So um, after he proposed, we, we walked around and just kind of enjoyed it and talked about it. And he told me um, the process it took to get there. And it was all starting to make sense. And we ended up going back through the aquarium so I could actually enjoy it The whole aquarium this time. again. Because the first time I wasn't paying attention to anything. And then the second time, I wasn't paying attention to anything because I just wanted to like look at my rings. So I was just like walking through the aquarium, so only looking. We at ended like... up walking through the aquarium twice, yep. but we both only saw it once, which worked yep. out. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did Quincy Market again. Um, so we enjoyed the aquarium, just us and just yep. us knowing the news. And we went back to Quincy Market and we texted our families at the same time. So we were able to FaceTime and talk on the phone with both of our families. Mm -hmm. And then we went to. Wagamama. Wagamama, I think it was. Called. I don't know. It was in Quincy Market, and it was really good. Um, and we didn't post online until I think the next day. Yeah. To tell our friends or anything, um, but it was the perfect weekend. I think it was so perfectly us with like the awkward moments and. Um, A lot of those. Yeah. Yeah, and and we don't usually get away just us, so I, I think that's what was most important to me. Um, I was just glad she said yes. That was the most important <laughs> thing to me. I did. I remember to say yes at some point. But um, that's pretty much our engagement story. If you are interested in more wedding videos, whether it's 
what how we got the idea for the ring or um, how planning is going or q a of any sort just let me know in the comments down below what types of videos you want to see and if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already and we will see you in our next video